Now let us discuss about anonymous functions in JavaScript. Uh, before that, uh, let us see how we can uh, uh, use functions in JavaScript. In JavaScript, we can define a function with the help of function keyword. After that, uh, it is followed by function name. Uh, next, uh, collection of statements. Uh, let us display some message. Document dot write off. Welcome. Welcome. Next to close the function and then call the function. Now whenever the function is called, then the function definition will be executed. So welcome message will be printed. So in this way we can define functions in uh, JavaScript. Now let us make this function as anonymous function. Anonymous function means the function without any name. So here the function doesn't associate with any name. So after the function, there is no need of function name. Okay. There is no need of any function name. Uh, but here we need to store the result of the function in a variable. Let name of the variable is var. So var a is equal to function. Anonymous function means uh, here we will use function keyword only. But after the function keyword, there is no need of any function name. Next to call the function. Here in order to call the function, we need to use the left hand side variable. Here what is the left hand side variable? A. So we have to use A. A. Save the program and then run the program. So instead of welcome, let us write as welcome to JavaScript. Welcome to JavaScript. Now let us run the program. So welcome to JavaScript is the output. So this is about anonymous function. So anonymous function means the function doesn't associate with any name. But the result of the function will be stored in a variable. So we have to use that variable for calling the anonymous function. So here the variable name is a. So here that's why we use it a here for calling the function. So whenever we call, whenever we have written a statement like this, then this function will be called and the body will be executed. If we want, we can also pass parameters to the anonymous functions. So a of 10 comma 20. Now we can use two parameters now, x comma y. So we can here x and y are nothing but local values, local parameters. So we can use x and y parameters only inside this uh, anonymous function only. So here display the result. So document dot write ln. Let us display some value. So sum is equal to so plus of x plus y plus of x plus y. So here a of 10 comma 20 means this anonymous function will be called. Why? Because here what is the left hand side variable? A. So 10 will be passed to x. Y will be passed to 20. Now we will get 10 plus 20 means 30 as the output. So sum is equal to 30 is the output. And one more important point regarding the anonymous function is an anonymous function can be invoked directly here in order to call the anonymous function. What we are using? We are using a variable called a. Here we are using a variable. But an anonymous function can be called uh, can be called by itself only. For that purpose, the syntax is we have to use left to parenthesis and then write the define the function and it's it uh, we have to close this with right parenthesis. So in this way, we have to define the anonymous function. An anonymous function should be defined within the parenthesis. Should be defined within the parenthesis. So here we don't have any body. We don't have any parameters. So that's why I display directly some body anonymous functions. Anonymous functions. Okay. So anonymous function is defined. Now in order to call this function, we have to use left parenthesis, right parenthesis, sense with semicolon. So whenever we have written this statement, then this function will be called. So an anonymous function should be enclosed in left to parenthesis, right parenthesis. So this is anonymous function definition. This is nothing but anonymous function call. Okay. So there is no need to use any other variable, any other left hand side variable in order to call the anonymous function. So let us observe the program output. If we observe the output, anonymous functions is the output. Okay. Uh, so this is about uh, anonymous functions in JavaScript.